Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at my Amiga 1200. <laughs> it's really, really long time ago since I last time made one of these newly bought uh, Amigas unpacking videos and all that. But let's take a look at this, guys. It's a boxed Amiga 1200. I actually bought this one for. Mm, I think it was about two months ago. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have waited a long time to get this Amiga because on the pictures it looked nice and it had a nice accelerator card and compact flash card and all that. But the main reason to I bought this one was actually because of it's got a um, what's it called DVI output that, that I'm gonna that I'm gonna make use of. Um, because I think it's awesome to connect uh, LCD screens uh, on uh, to our uh, Amigas and get great picture quality on uh, on all on and all that. So let's just unbox this Amiga 1200 together, guys. Um, we got the manual here and something more. I don't know what it is, but I will take it out. Oh, maybe it's workbench discs. Uh, and we got the Amiga here. It, oh, I think, is this the P, yeah, that's the PSU. Must be the, no mouse. <laughs> but, uh, oh, damn, it looks nice. <laughs> Let's open this baby and take a look inside of it. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm just, I'm so excited with this one because as you all know, the Amiga 1200 is just my favorite, favorite Amiga of all time. I, I love the Amiga 1200. Two mix of chip RAM, AGA chipset is amazing. And with WSD load, I mean, it plays almost all of the old, you know, from the Amiga 500. Kickstart 1.3 generation of games. No, I don't recall having problems with any of them, but uh, yeah. So I just plugged the Amiga in to my monitor and mouse and joystick. I'm not using the PSU that was included. I'm using my own that has been checked and just in perfect condition. So the only thing I did I have taken the five screws off and I found out that something's loose inside. I could hear it, <laughs> so I will not power it on. So let's just open it together and look at what's inside. Um, included this Amiga, I got, I got Workbench 3.0, I got Amiga 1200 user's guide and something, something, some advertisements. And I got the, oh, the workbench discs. I don't remember if there were six or five, don't know, but looks great. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this Amiga. Uh, included was this, um, what's it called? Dust the preventer. <laughs> I don't know. Looks great. I'm gonna use this one. It's uh, it's nice. <sighs> so the Amiga guys. Um, I think it's the compact flash card inside that's loose, but I'm not sure. I just found out when I took some of the screws off when I turned it around. I could hear a small click click sound. So. Let's just take a look. I don't know if the camera can pick this one up, but uh, you have to see this also. This uh, little Commodore logo here in gold. Amiga 1230 Blizzard. It looks amazing. I really like that one. So, uh, looks great. <laughs> I'm not gonna take off the keyboard connection yet oh it's pretty obvious what's loose inside <laughs> the reason I bought this machine oh 
this one. So this one will sit on top of here and from here this ribbon cable to the DVI, DVI output. Now this is just an uh, unboxing video. I'm not gonna go uh, in depth how this card, I don't know this card, a blizzard. Um, I'm gonna make a later video where we take a closer look at everything. So let's just unplug, yeah, it is possible. Unplug this one. Normally when I work with all my retro stuff, I'm just, you know, come on everybody and all that. But when it's a Vega 1200, I'm just, just a little bit careful guys. Indivision AGA MK2 CR cost reduced model maybe don't know but this is I just I, I love the support that Amiga gets today it's it's just perfect guys so we have no connection to the to the computer this way oh I really like the compact flash holder here my has a ribbon cable here and it's loose here but this this one is nice. Oh, it's a must, guys, because usually we have the compact flash card laying around here, but that's a no go because of this one. Okay, okay. So this one goes with this one. <laughs> this type of compact flash card holder. All right, it's a nice one. Nothing, uh, nothing loose or nothing like that. Oh, I just found out something else. The Ribbon cable for the disk drive is not inserted. The seller I have bought from him many times before. Uh, I got a Commodore 64 also last. Was it Commodore 64? I don't remember. He bought a CD TV from me. I bought something else, something else. Um, yeah, but he said that this one was in incredible condition and everything works. So I just think that he maybe pulled this one off on purpose. Don't know. I don't think it will fall out under the transportation. So we got a Phase 5 Digital Products Blizzard 1230-2. This is an old version, guys, uh, because usually, two seconds, usually when I buy Amigas in Denmark, I, I actually get these. I think they're called MK4. Yeah. Um, 1230-4 uh, Almost every time I buy an Amiga 4000 uh, Amiga 1200 in Denmark, I get one of these. I mean uh, Here's another one actually oh, This one is missing the FPU, but still it's still a MK4 <laughs> It's okay but I have never seen the version 2. It's all right. So let's try to power this one on. Oh, the, um, the Kickstarter only version 3.0. That must be upgraded. All right, so let's give some power and see how this one performs. I mean, other than that, nothing is loose. I mean, this CPU card, it soon sits fine. Yeah, 3D printed. Um, I don't know if it's... There we go. So it's Amiga 1200 revision 2B. All right, first power up. And we got, I have two, <laughs> two second guys. All right, no, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's just move this one. There we 
go nice all right i know this a lot i know this menu it's it's not my favorite oh we got workbench so we got some different games but oh, there are no descriptions of the games i have better menu than this that i use in my everyday use but okay oh agony oh don't we have aga games ah uh, no aga guys WSC Load is not even a registered version. I mean, what the hell is this guy thinking? I have to find another compact flash card. While that one is loading, I will pick up another compact flash card, guys. And I got one over here. All right, let's um, let's replace that one <laughs> because. Oh, I also want to tell because um, a guy on YouTube actually asked me asked me a question he said why is the screen tipping this way actually the reason i started this game is if you have a commodore 64 please turn off this video and start this game and listen to the music it's amazing okay so he asked me what why uh, is it something with your camera and all that <laughs> because the screen tips as you can see from left to right side down well that's because i bought this big table and i and i think it's about uh, i don't know it's about two meter in length and i have um yeah i have uh, in the middle i have a mega 2000 and screens and all that and that makes the table uh, wobble down in the middle <laughs> So uh, that's why it looks like that, guys. Um, yeah. Okay. I will just replace this compact flash card because the included one, I mean, WSC load is not even registered. And come on, guys. <laughs> it's just not worth it. So let me just replace it and I'll be back. I just put in my own compact, one of my own compact flash cards. And I think it's it's a compact flash card from my own Amiga 1200. So let's just check it out and see how it performs. Yeah. Okay, it's got 32 megs of RAM built in that Blizzard board. That's nice. And let's check out this info there we go version 4.0 can you see up there yeah you can okay so let's see ram ram where um memory there we go so it says 31 megabytes of ram that's probably because it's reserved one megabyte for map rom to enter to uh, load the kickstart up in ram so we can get a speed performance <laughs> note name blizzard mem all right and we got two megs of chip ram let's uh, check out the speed it says cpu 68030 51 megahertz got a 6888 FPU and as you can see here drive storm 8600 and 9.06 MIPS 1.43 M flops yeah I just look here it is 16 times faster than an Amiga 600 that's enough for me and it is half the speed of an Amiga 4000 that runs with an 040 and as you can see Amiga 3000 uh, the 030 processor running in 25 megahertz we're almost double the speed of that so all right uh, we got a lot of speed and memory to play WSD load games and let's see how 
how it performs there. Those red stripes there, they are, uh, I don't like them <laughs> when we reset. Let's check out again. What should we play? Our type. I mean, I, I, I like this uh, arcade games like the much better uh, description and uh, picture and all that. Also, here we have WST load version 18.3 and it's registered. That means it loads much faster <laughs> and newer version than the one that, that was in this Kingston 8 megabyte. So uh, we do we. I watch all this these hardware uh, videos on YouTube and I also love to you know play with uh, Amiga hardware and all that but sometimes guys sometimes we just forget how awesome these games are we forget to play I mean we are so hardware focused so uh, let's see how many seconds I can survive in this game because our type is not an easy game guys, but it's an awesome game oh, Especially with the also fire on Love this game I think I'll die here <laughs> Whoa damn, oh I survived that's amazing that must be because the camera is on Oh So awesome this game. In a second guys there are these things that just turns around. I usually just die there. Yeah around here. Yeah a little too much. Yeah here. Oh damn. That must be the camera effect guys. You can also shoot this one, then you will have a different uh, uh, weapon. I think I'll take that back, back again. We got homing missiles. Let's just shoot again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, get back. <gasps> Damn. Nice. So... Oh, at, that's the end boss, I think, already. Yeah. As you can see, this is uh, this is an old game, but the O30 with WSD load, it it just works. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> I don't know if there's a built-in trainer on this one because I, I usually die way earlier than this, but this is just awesome, guys. Well. This one also works. Let's check the rest of the machine. Oh. Ah, oh, damn. I had a problem like this six months ago. And it was the RAM on my accelerator card. So. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna give the seller a headache just because of RAM, guys. Uh, it irritates me, but yeah, nothing to do. I just reset it, hard reset it down at the, at, at the PSU. I will just try to load another game and I'm pretty sure it will make that red screen again. Let's just try Arkanoid that was on the other card also. And it's not my compact flash card. I'll guarantee you that that one works perfect. Um, yeah, let's just try a game here. I mean, where's the, where's the music? <laughs> the music in Commodore 64 is amazing on this game. Yeah, come on. 
was play. Is it with mouse or what? Oh, I can choose different levels. Nice. Oh man, it's slow. All right, it will probably make the red screen again. Actually, when I had this problem with another Amiga 1200 I bought with a um, with an accelerator card, that was the RAM. And I um, I remember six months ago I didn't know that much about the Amigas and all that. So um, I wrote to him. I, uh, I I sent him a little video and all that. I said, "Do you know anything about this?" And he said, no, never happened before. It must be damaged under the transport and no warranty. Of course, it's 25 years old. But um, I was just, oh my God, what am I going to do? I didn't have no knowledge. I mean, um, but I'm pretty sure it's just the Rams here that they're dead. I don't know if it's, it, it's got two Ram blocks. I'm just going to remove the f one of them first and just turn the machine on again and see what's going to happen. This is uh, one of them. Oh man, I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Look at the legs. These should be all shiny. Um, all silver like and as I can see some of them are just damaged and gone they're just dark gray so I I'm gonna replace both of these RAM chips because they are completely worthless when they look like this so let's just start another game and and reset and I maybe it's this one only that's dead Turkey, let's trust the stop turkey. I mean, it looks really, really bad, guys. It's a 16 megabyte, and it's you can actually check a robber and, and try to clean it, but as I can see, some of the trays are just gone. There you go. All right, it's 25 years old, nothing to do. I'm not gonna say anything to him, so let's just reset now without this RAM. I don't know if this one is the dead one or the other one, but I mean, this can't happen under the transport, guys. But yeah, reset. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> yeah. But I will replace both RAM banks. Uh, now we only have 16 megs of RAM, but still it's all right, it's all right. I mean, having a 030 with 16 megabytes of RAM, it still runs all fine. But I have other RAM blocks. I mean, I have, what's this? This is, oh, this is also 16, but yeah, if that's, a, that's an easy fix. Um, I've played around with Amigas for about six months now. And I mean, you learn something every day. And uh, I actually found out about uh, troubleshooting. <laughs> it's it's the same, you know, because uh, there are not so many different versions of these Amigas. So yeah, I will just start the game, load the memory up to the game, and reset again. Gosh, this game is just amazing. Nice. Yep, let's reset. I mean, those colors are not <laughs> good either, but uh, yeah. Nice, it boots now. So uh, we only had a dead RAM bank here. I will test the rest of it. Um, let's start the demo. No space SP no spaced out. No. I will try something with AGA graphics. 
Daddy Chaos, what's that? Oh, that woman is this one, State of the Art. Spaceballs, I know this one, we watched this one, yeah, back in 92, 93, I think. Yeah, this was an amazing, I didn't care for demos back then, but this one was awesome. It was, on a one megabyte Amiga, it was great. <laughs> All right, so let's just, um, I have a chest disc here, so let's start that one up and see how it performs, guys. I think I have to change both RAM. Memory. We got 2 megs of chip, 16 megs of fast RAM, that's because this one is off. You can run memory test here, but it will take the whole day. So yeah, I think if I put this one in, it will find some errors. And this program is just, you can see, you can see uh, by KAF and that's his email address. I mean, uh, great, great program to test Amigas. Seems like everything works fine here. Okay. Mouse. Mouse works. Joystick. Auto fire. Without auto fire. Alright. Left channel. Right channel. Alright. And RGB colors. Okay, it works fine, it works fine, and it's an O30 AGA PAL Amiga. That's nice. So it, it, it needs to have new RAM and it needs to be upgraded to version 3.1 on the on the um, Kickstart ROM. Alright guys, that's about it. I'm still really, really happy uh, about buying this Amiga because... Because I've been looking for one of these and they were sold out, sold out, sold out <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Individual computers. Um, and I'm going to make a separate video with this one in Division AGA MK2. Um, and I just hope this one works because <laughs> it's the most important part. Everything else I have, I have everything else. So, yeah, I just hope this one works, guys. Nice one. Oh, let's see how um, how Frontier performs. You know what? Let's reset just the last time and start off Frontier and see how it runs. Oh, I don't know if this one has been recapped. Don't know. Didn't ask. Actually, um, I had a lot of issues with with my Amiga Thousand because it needed uh, it needs um, one of one of the caps were dead, and I had so much sound trouble with it. Um, but other than that, Frontier, all different uh, languages here: French, German. What's Frostbite, guys? Okay. Full contact. Okay. Frontier 2 30 CD32 Frontier 2 from 1993. Um but other other than that Amiga 1000, I really had I haven't had no issues with no Amigas uh, cap related <laughs> other than that. I mean uh, I, I do recap oh it It runs so nice with the O30. I have also seen on the O40, but guys, for just WSG.gaming, the O30 is enough. 
<laughs> but we all know the love to upgrade our Amigas. And I mean, I have also seen this on my last summer. I actually used a Raspberry Pi for a week. I think it was fun to learn how to set, set it up with Amibian and all that. And it was uh, 245 times faster than an Amiga 600. And this demo ran just like crazy and all that on my Raspberry Pi. It worked, but I mean, it worked. I could play on all the Amiga games and, and, and all that. But I mean, emulation is just not as fun as this, guys. This is... This is just a real deal. This is just amazing. This is what I love. Um, but I have nothing against people that emulates and all that. But this is just... Oh, this is just me. So that was a, a checkup of this lovely, lovely Amiga 1200. We had a, a little RAM error. <laughs> but other than that, it runs really well. The disk drive... Um, it sounds great. I mean, uh, maybe maybe it sounds weird, but when you work with these Amigas, you know how the disk drive sh should sound when it loads. Um, and this one sounds amazing, so that's that's perfect. Everything is clean, so I don't have to clean this one up. Looks great. No retro brighten, no nothing. It, it, it just looks fine as it is. So um, all in all, I'm really happy with this one. I bought it in an auction. Uh, it came for sale with that in the Vision AGA 2, or what's it called? And, and the seller, seller wrote that it had Blizzard card, um, 8 GB compact flash card, as, as we saw. And, and, and he wrote that it was in incredible condition. And you know what? I think I've won this for about two months ago, and I. I'm, it was. Uh, 3,000 Danish crowners, I mean, it's, it was so cheap, guys, uh, in my opinion, it was really, really, really cheap, but, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to move on now, so uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your time, as always, play some Amiga, guys, and have some fun, bye! Before we quit, just a short story guys. Here in Denmark, we are known for having the best beer in the world. I mean, we love beer in Denmark. So about a month ago, I got contacted by a guy that um, lived about one hour from me. And um, he just, he loved my YouTube channel and he actually, um, went to his parents house and he picked up his old Amiga 500 after watching my videos and he got it home and it didn't work he said it just had a had a black screen and nothing happened it was about a month ago and then I didn't hear nothing from him but earlier today he actually write to me again and said said that he should uh, through his work he should uh, you know write uh, against uh, where I live, you know, so if I could take a look at his Amiga and uh, maybe repair it, then he will pay me and all that. So <laughs> he just uh, came with his Amiga 500 this morning and after work I took a look at it. It just had a black screen and I reseated the, the, some of the CPUs and um, then it got white screen uh, and got stocked from white screen. And then I found out that the Kickstart one point it, it had a 1.2 Kickstart only, uh, and I found out it was dead. So I had a uh, 1.3 laying around. I just I just popped that one in, and his Amiga 500 worked. He was he was so happy. Then I just cleaned his uh, disk drive. You know, not the whole nine yard, but just just the head and all that. And, and I gave him about 50 discs with games, you know, so uh, he could be happy. And that was it. So um, I wrote to him that it was ready to be picked up and all that. And he came here and I said that it was all right. He could just uh, take the Amiga home. It took me no no time, you know, no problems at all. And he was so eager to pay me for my time and, uh, and that. And I was like, it's okay, man. Just uh, go, home and, uh, go home and play some games. And he said, all right. So about 
30 minutes later, I mean, this, this is just amazing. 30 minutes later, he knocks on my door again. <laughs> and I opened and he had bought 12 different kind of beers. Uh, yeah, so many different beers, you know. Just as a uh, just as a thank you for uh, for the help, we have many uh, special Danish beers and all that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it now, and I hope it's a good one because, um, like everybody else, I love beer. So two second guys, it's a nice one. Oh man, it's good. I just want to share that with you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.